I'm not a morning person. Dedicated to be passionate about it. Bodybuilders have become more lazy. People have always thought I lift fake weights. Iran and the United States. You take, you take responsibility for that. What inspired you to actually, because one thing is working out, right, and getting, you know, right. getting gains, but another thing is competing on stage and posing, right? Like, what motivated you to, motivated you to do that? So, I used to dance. So, dancing was just fun, right? We used to dance, like, I was in a dance group, a dance crew. And um, for me, it was, it's just, it's not, like I said, bodybuilding for me is not that hard. It's not, I think a lot of people try to make it, I think, there's a thing to where people want to make it seem like it's such a mystique to it, but it's not. It's just being consistent, being consistent, and then just displaying what you what you got, right? Like that's what I think. It's a performance of it. You know, it's fun. It's legit fun for me. So I don't I don't stress over. You know, I don't. No, it's fun. And then I think the challenge too, right? The cool part is to see how long you can do it. How long can you eat the same thing over and over and over? over and over and over and i get burnt out like how long can you how, is that, how long can you do it? well speaking of eating i wanted to actually ask you about eating because so you get away with three uh sleeping three hours a day right which yep. is which mm -hmm. is phenomenal right a lot of people right. gonna, a lot of people are gonna believe that but okay you sleep that's fine and that's fine that, it, 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 look the thing is i don't need a lot of people to believe it i just need people to to, to know that that's what it is i i and i wish i could get more sleep i want more sleep <laughs> but at the end of the day if i get more sleep i won't be able to do anything else I have to work. If if you're able to be a bodybuilder with that uh, little amount of sleep, does it mean you also can get away with eating not as not as clean as a bodybuilder? Can you get a, can you can your genetics process? You know, it depends on the person. No, for you, I'm saying for you, for you. For me, no, 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 no. So you don't. You, I don't. I don't. I don't cheat on my diet. Like I don't cheat because I feel like if I cheat and I lose, then I'm gonna go back to that day I cheated. So I don't cheat. Like my coach knows. He he knows. I he don't have to worry about. It. I'm doing everything to the to the to the gram. Like I don't cheat. Um, I don't try to. And that's the thing. That's what people say when they say hard work beats genetics. When genetics don't work hard, right? If I try to go off of my just genetics and then just eat whatever I want, yeah, sure, I'm gonna still be lean. But why won't be? Why not be the best that I can be by keeping it clean? That make you know what I'm saying? Like that's how I think. I don't think about. The things that make me feel good. We even talked about it. Me and him, he, he was like, hey, do you think you need a burger? Like, we were, we were talking about it because I know he, I know the other athletes he's worked with that need that for their mental clarity, right? They need that. They need that burger because they feel like, man, like I haven't had this so long. No, I don't need it. Uh, we gonna keep, we can stick with the, we can stick with the beef and rice that we've been eating. I'm cool with it. Or the bites and the rice that we eat. I'm good. I don't need that. I don't need it. Because I always look at the goal. The goal isn't to, feel better. The goal is to look the best you can on stage and this is the job and this is what we're doing. This this, this is what it is. That's it. Right? I, I saw a cool video of you actually um, on mm -hmm. YouTube when you went to uh, Starbucks and then you went to In-N-Out right. Burger. And, and I hate In-N-Out. I hate In-N-Out. But you, you find something to eat, like you find a, uh, clean ways to right. eat there basically, which was I thought right. it was cool, you know, because a lot of people, you know, they travel right. or whatever. Like, so know. the thing is, you got to make it make sense, right? And, and if you're going to eat like I don't diet 24-7 year-round, right? So if I do eat, I make sure I always have a basic baseline, though. I'm going to have a protein. It has to be a higher protein than a, high, than a, than a carb than what I'm eating, right? Um, that video is cool, but in reality, I would never eat in and out like, It's not my – I would go to McDonald's before I go to in and out okay? You just don't, like, you just, you just don't, like, don't like in and out No, because it's <laughs> super hyped over here. I live in it on the East Coast or the West Coast. Everybody thinks it's totally yeah, in and out. They do. They go crazy for it over there, right? It's not that good. <laughs> it's not. But um, it's not that it's not good. It's just not like as hype. It's super hype. That's all it is. But, but yeah, like I make sure I get a higher protein. Everything mine is always higher protein, less carbs. You know what I mean? And the, the minimum amount of fat as possible. You know? But that's it. You know?